Hey guys, have you ever heard of a super floppy? In Amiga OS 3.1.4.1, uh, there's this cool, well, 3.1.4, there's this cool uh, file thing called a super floppy. What is a super floppy? Well, it's a mount list uh, with some custom commands, and you can find it in your uh, frequently asked questions readme in your OS 3.1.4 documentation. But I'm going to show you how to do it because it's super simple and it's super cool. So in my DOS drivers, now I grabbed PC0 out of uh, Sys Storage DOS drivers and I drug it over to Dev's DOS drivers and it's PC0. But I'm going to make a copy of this, right? So I'm going to do copy. So we're going to leave PC0. Okay, so I'm going to rename this turd to what, what I want my device to be called. I'm going to call it Zip, whoops, Control X, Z-I-P. So it's called Zip. I'm not going to double click it yet. I'm going to do right Amiga I or you can choose, you can highlight it and you can choose icon information. Okay, default tool of C, mount, activate one and unit zero. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but we need to do a couple other things. So before activate, we're gonna go to device equals, uh, mine is the SCSI dot device. Whoops, dot device. And then we have to have a unit equals this is the SCSI ID I know mine is five because it's set on a little dip switch and then you'll notice I am not putting any spaces in between unit and the equal sign and the device ID or any of my text you can do this is optional you can do flags equals zero I don't even run flags I don't some people can but here's the important part super flop B equals one and then you have to do a DOS type equals 0x444f5303. That is Fast File System International. Learn it, know it, live it. There's a quiz on Friday. And then for the file system. Now you don't have to do these all in caps. I do, just so I know. And it's L fast. Whoops. Fast file system okay and then you can do activate and oops take this unit out and then uh, you can even do mount equals one that'll make it show up on the desk but I'm just going to do activate I'm not going to do the mount and we're going to say save now we have a zip drive I'm going to double click it double click it twice zip is mounted okay so if I double click it again oops you'll get this already mounted okay so first time it said mounted and then already mounted so without even rebooting all right so this is also how you know it's just a it's a mount list and not a scuzzy device so i'm going to leave everything in view we're going to run sys tools hd toolbox and it'll say new for the device drive type after it gets through five and six scuzzies, and seven and eight scuzzies. All right, drives have been added for remove. Just so you know, my scuzzy to SD always shows up as changed for some reason. So I'm gonna click OK. And drive five, as you can see, is unknown. There is no RDB on that mount list. So that is how, uh, when you do the device, the unit, the flags, the low sill, super floppy, the DOS type, the file system, fast file system 4620, I believe is the 3141. So fast file system 4620 handles this. Now, if I wanted to, I could do the RDB, but SCSI device five, unknown. Now, just so you can do it, I'll show you, change drive type, uh, we're gonna define new. I'm gonna just read configuration. I'm not gonna write any RDB to it, configure. I Omega make a zip 100 cancel cancel pretty cool huh so that's the hard drive toolbox part and we're not going to uh, be using that because the super floppy is the super floppy flag in that mount list in devs DOS drivers is handling all the interchange and the file size the track size and the low cylinder and the max transfer 
and everything for you. So it makes life a little simpler. You do have to create the mount list. I wish there was a base model created called Super Floppy and you could just edit it. But uh, it's pretty simple enough. It's it's just like six or seven lines you gotta add and, and that's okay, it. So with that Super Floppy mounted, or at least the DOS driver mounted, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the format. This is just sys, the, oh, there it is, look. All right, can I format it is the problem. So we're gonna take the trash can out, we're gonna call it zip. I'll call it zip in caps. And we're gonna do a quick format. It doesn't use RDB, so maybe we'll get a non-seek failure. There we go, zip, check it out. Does it know how big it is? 95 megs, I'm gonna reboot it. Pow, so when we reboot, I'm gonna see if the light flashes. Okay, there's the light flashing. Sometimes these eject. If the super floppy works, this should just show up on the desktop. We'll see. Now it's per device, so I guess I would have to have, like if I had a zip drive, or if I had an LS120, or if I had a jazz drive, or an iOmega, or an EZ135, or whatever you have, Bernoulli, there it is, zip. Cool. I want to give it a cooler icon. So that's the super floppy, at least for a Zip 100. I'm going to try it with a few other things. I will have to change the uh, icon name. Maybe I'll make a copy of it, like we did with the other one, to create it. And I'll see how it works, and I'll keep you all posted. And you can find all this in your uh, 314 documentation there is some other cool stuff in there too that i'm going to be doing some videos on in the future so thank you for watching and i hope you learned something